San Pedro, California, the port of Los Angeles. We were about to embark upon a new adventure, one that required we travel across the Pacific by ferry to a small island off the coast of California, Catalina Island. With me was my good friend, Joey Coconado. Catalina is an approximately 25 mile boat ride from Los Angeles. The boat would be making a quick stop at the smaller of the island's two villages, two harbors, before moving on to Avalon. Our plan was to spend a couple of days relaxing and hanging around Avalon before setting out on a multi-day hike on the Trans-Catalina Trail. Weather was in the forecast, but more on that later. On the way out, please be careful, watch your step. Hold onto a handrail if needed. If you have bags, look at your gear down below. Give the guys a few minutes to start getting everything brought up. Once they do, please give them space to work. So we'll get the Seaside Motel. Stay here the last two nights in town. And now we're gonna start on the Trans-Catalina Trail. Day one would be an easy one. We had a short 1.5 mile hike to our first camp, Hermit Gulch, just outside of town. Good morning from Catalina Island, where we are setting out today to begin our Trans-Catalina Trail trek. We've actually been here for a couple of days. We were in a motel for the last couple of nights. It was really nice, just kind of chilling and enjoying the island a little bit, a little bit of village life before we head out on the trip. I've done this one once before, but I, I really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to doing it again. Got some weather on the way, so we'll see how that all goes. <laughs> but today we only have 1.5 miles to get to the Hermit Gulch camp. And then tomorrow is kind of the official, official start, even though it is official today as well. So yeah, let's get to Hermit Gulch. You're required to stay in designated campsites on the island and store your food in box boxes, which look like bear boxes that we're all familiar with, and you'll see why later. Check it out, there's a fox in our camp. They warned us about foxes. This guy came and jumped right up on our picnic table. He is not shy at all. Good morning from a rainy Catalina Island. <laughs> Looks like we'll be starting out in the rain today, but that was to be expected. We knew we had three days of rain. Funny because we planned this trip in advance. And when we planned it, we had no idea that we'd pick the only three rainy days within a week on either side for sure. So 
uh, it is what it is and we're gonna make the best of it. So we're getting packed up. We have about nine miles to do today to get to our next camp, which is Blackjack. It is in the interior of the island. And if I recall from my last trip here, we saw a lot of bison through there. So hopefully we'll see some wildlife. We saw a fox here at camp last night. And uh, yeah, getting packed up and getting ready to hit the trail. Well, I just got a notification in my email that all the trails are closed because of the weather, the rain. They do say that you can still walk the roads, that that's fine. So we checked the map and it looks like there is accessibility to all the camps from roads. So that's what we're contemplating doing. It's about 10 a.m. now and they're saying the rain's not really gonna let up until noon. Uh, and it's raining pretty hard right now. We'll uh, figure it out and uh, keep you updated. So currently we have moved on over into one of these little cabins. The ranger said it was cool. She even said we could stay here tonight if we needed to. But I think the plan is to wait for the rain to die down and we're gonna do the road walk to our next campground. Should still be really nice. The rain is supposed to subside within about half an hour or so. We looked at the radar. It looks like it passes over us, so we are gonna go for it. I'm gonna give it a try with the road walk. Just trying to dry my gear out as much as possible while we're waiting on the rain. Since we have this space, The rain wasn't letting up anytime soon, so we decided to make a go for it. A ranger allowed us to use the trail system for a short time to meet up with the road. I think we've made it up to our trail junction slash road junction and they got this little somewhat covered overhang here it's not gonna do as much good and we also have a warning for buffalo forgot about that there are bison here and uh, we gotta watch out for them at this point we made it to the top of the hill, the hill that we had to climb out of camp, which I think was about 1,200 feet in elevation gain. We've gotten to the road, which is where, what we're gonna have to walk now. So this is new territory for me. I have not done this road walk. I took the trail last time, uh, but it should be, I think maybe a little easier than the actual trail. So we'll see. <laughs> we have about five miles to get to the turnoff to Blackjack Camp. of the ocean today. Wow, I'm so excited.
to our site here at Blackjack Campground, BJ1. It's pretty private, which is nice. And uh, there are bathrooms here, there is water cache. And we are going to get set up because it's getting close to dark and it's cold. We've been wet all day, so we're going to get set up pretty quick here. Yeah, I feel way more relaxed now at this camp than I did. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? We got the weather. But I'm like, no. Waking up to warm sunshine on day three was definitely a morale booster. to the upper campground to try to dry our things out. We were getting dripped on by the trees above us. So we've got everything hanging up, hoping to dry it a little before we hit the trail. My shoes had about quadrupled the amount of mud on them. Yesterday I'm already beginning to scrape it off. They weighed, uh, had a little extra weight on them. Not too far into the start of the day's hike, we saw our first real glimpses of the ocean, which was very exciting. Well, good morning. We have hit the trail and so far it's turning into a beautiful morning. I'm so thankful that we could see the ocean this morning. Uh, we are heading straight down to the beach, Little Harbor. We are on I think it's called Upper Cottonwood Road. We're just gonna take this road all the way to the beach. So we've definitely made some adjustments because of the trail closure and the fact that you can hike the roads. Luckily, there are roads that uh, lead to the beach. However, they're pretty rough roads. I mean, in terms of unmaintained, just dirt roads. <laughs> so it's really not like you're on a road for the most part. There are some beautiful views from here. You can see how muddy the road is. Pretty hard to walk right now. Seeing Shark Harbor and our camp at Little Harbor was just breathtaking. For sure, one of my favorite spots on the island. Here's the 
first buffalo of the trip. Kind of surprising, not every day that you see a bison right along the ocean. But there are a bunch of them here. And we've seen them like way far off on open slopes, but this is the first close one we've seen. We had arrived at camp number three, Little Harbor. We've made it to camp and it is epic. This is our view. Gonna get set up, we're letting things dry out. I think we still had some wet gear and it's drying out really fast. This is gonna be a nice night here. Little Harbor Campground is located on the back side of the island or the west side of the island which sees much fewer visitors than the east side. Just sitting here enjoying the ocean. I love it, it's so relaxing. We just relaxed, dried out, and enjoyed our beachside camp for the rest of the evening. Day four, we were once again waking up wet after some overnight rains. Good 
Good morning. It's raining here at Little Harbor this morning. It looks like the rain is going to taper off at about 8, 9 o'clock and maybe potentially not rain the rest of the day, which would be fantastic. It got pretty heavy at times overnight, but not too bad. Um, we're going to probably wait until about 9 when hopefully the rain will have ended to get hiking and uh, just enjoy the morning here, have some coffee. We have about five miles approximately to get to two harbors today. The sun has come out, it's gorgeous and see how muddy the roads are. And the trails are gonna be the same way. That's why they're closed, because it's just really steep and slick. And when you're on mud like this, that's just a good way to get hurt. So they have the trails closed. We can still walk the roads. And we're headed up this way. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This day was a slog in the mud, mist, and rain. It was a get from point A to point B kind of a day. We have made it here to Two Harbors Campground. It's raining on us. But you can see the water, and right now we're dropping down to our campsite. We have spot number one, should be as close to the water as we can get. So we're gonna drop down and set up the tents, get dry for a little bit, and then probably go to town. rain had stopped once we got to our two harbor camp and thankfully that was the last of it for the remainder of the trip. Walk into town for some pizza in the mud. Mud is the theme of the day. First little bit of sun in a while. All right, we've made it to the camp store here, which is open. We have ordered a pizza and also bought some other stuff. They're open nine to six or nine to five.
Good morning, waking up to a clear morning. Very excited. I think we're done with the rain finally. Today we're gonna hike about a little under eight miles to another one of my favorite camps, Parsons Landing. So these last three camps have been on the water, on the beach, which I love. Last night, uh, it was almost a full moon. Tonight it's gonna be a full moon. So full moon last night on Parsons Landing. It's gonna be awesome. I, I'm sure we'll still be walking in some mud because it's the road that we'll be walking will be dirt. So that's okay. It's gonna be beautiful. We should be walking along the water the entire time. Uh, it's a choose your own adventure type of a trip with the wrench thrown into the works of the trails being closed, but we are making the best of it. We've already hiked from Avalon to Two Harbors. It's been awesome. Heading down to Two Harbors, get some coffee, more coffee, <laughs> we've had coffee and tea already, uh, and maybe a sandwich to pack out, maybe a few more snacks, it's just gorgeous today. Backpacking Catalina is definitely a unique experience. You have more interaction with civilization and an opportunity to eat pepperoni pizza on the beach and have wood delivered to your campsite. However, it is one that I would recommend and really enjoy. We modified this part of the hike to take the road to Parsons Landing. It was in the sunshine and mostly along the coast on an absolutely gorgeous day.
on the final approach down into Parsons Landing. This is where camp's going to be. You can see there's some nice beaches down here. And we're headed to campsite number one, which is supposed to be the nice private spot. And then we're going to get set up and then go find our water and firewood. Pretty awesome. Right, site one. Looks like we're already in the shade, which is a little bit of a bummer. But we can walk down and get by the water to be warm. We have made it here to Parsons Landing in our own private little cove here in campsite number one. The sun has already dipped behind this ridge and it's only about 2.35 or something like that. Uh, but we're watching a little baby seal try to climb this rock behind us. And he's already fallen once, so he's making me very nervous. Hopefully he just gives up and gets back in the water. Anyhow, it's going to be a beautiful night here. We've got an awesome fire pit. We can head down to the beach and get some sun, soak in some sun. Last night here, today's hike was really nice, very mellow, absolutely beautiful. Great temperatures, great last full day. <laughs> Firewood and water are delivered to these loggers, which you are given a code to, for a fee, of course. All right. I don't see any wood. I see a fire starter. Dinner was that sandwich I had packed in from the general store with a pretty epic view. Our final morning, waking up to cotton candy skies and seals frolicking in the surf. We are back on the trail after waking up there in Parsons Landing and just enjoying the morning there, taking our time. Didn't leave till about 11 a.m. because we have uh, a little bit of time till the ferry gets here today. It's the last day. So we're just going to enjoy the walk back same way we came yesterday and uh, get back over to Two Harbors.
made it back to Two Harbors. We are gonna go grab some pizza and uh, that's pretty much gonna be the end of this trip except for the boat ride back to San Pedro. The rain, fog, mud, and modifications of the route only added to the adventure. It was one to remember. As I sit here recording this narration, I miss it already. Thank you, Catalina. Mm -hmm.